Nothing. Niente. No, sadly it doesn't. Oh, it does. Okay, guys, we're on to phase two. Phase three, one of the phases. Anyhow, in this episode, we are going to be covering me taking and prepping the machine, desoldering stuff, resoldering stuff, um, taking apart uh, connectors, adding new connectors, making connectors. There's lots of things to be made here. This is quite a list, as you can see. So let's get going. The more I'm working on this, the more I'm realizing that there's a lot of small repetitive tasks to do. All this desoldering, soldering, it's going to be a while. Who knew there'd be so much desoldering? That's okay. It's part of the journey. I've got to desolder these holders. Part of the manufacturing process, the solder just kind of flows over and fills it all up. So that hole has to be taken out. So I've got a solder vacuum gun that basically is for this exact task. But the solder that's on the board is about, you know, 30 odd years old. It takes so much time to heat it up. It takes a long, lot, lot longer than, than, than new solder. Anyhow, so as you can see, this takes time. Next, I've got to desolder the components from the Donor MFX. I've ordered a bunch of the other IDC connections too, and sockets, but due to COVID and the holiday season, some of these are gonna take weeks, if not months to arrive. So I just have to get on with it. Much in the same experience as clearing out of the solder, desoldering this takes ages. However, I've now got some lovely edge connectors ready for installation into the new cage. Fitting these edge connectors is, is a bit finicky because I've got these little red things, which I think are spacers so the cards get pushed in properly. Anyhow, the whole point is, is that um, I'm doing this vertically instead of laying it on its back like a proper person. So it's a bit more clunky and uh, just uh, gravity. Next step is to fit and solder in these edge connectors. Again, perhaps I should have completely disassembled it and so I could lay it all nice and flat, but I'm just working with this big clunky box and you know what, that's fine. So the longer of these edge connections are 80 pin connections, which takes a wee while to solder. And the shorter ones, are, I think 60 or something thereabouts. We have about four or five header connections to install here. So it does take a little bit of time. I'm refitting the lower edge connections. They have the ribbon cables. I'll be adding in the IDC connectors uh, later on and fit them to the back of the analog cage. So, um, what you probably can and can't see is I've got a couple of long strips here that are missing. See the blue one here? I need another two here for the MIDI card and the SIMTI card and I think the mix out card. And then over here, I've got one more for the sampler card. And those are missing. Now, what I'm wanting to do is, if I take this out of here, which I've just unscrewed, I've got the back plane and look what it has. A whole bunch of these. So, um, seeing that I'm really trying to use as much of this machine as possible, I'm thinking, even though these are the wrong length, I can take one out and I can cut one and see if it will be, see if it will fit, right? So I'm going to try and use this. Each of these edge connectors had over 500 million pins. So now we need to see if this can fit on the back plane of the other one. Alrighty. So here's from the one from the MFX. And I'll just kill those pins that are there and put the little stabby thing in. Uh, 
Boom. So now I've got another one, two, another two to go. So I'm going to desolder another two of these and do the same cutting and taking out the extra pins and we should be in good shape. We have two, and now all right. Now we have three new bussy thing bajigs. Next step is to fit and solder in these edge connectors. Again, perhaps I should have completely disassembled it and so I could lay it all nice and flat, but I'm just working with this big clunky box and you know what, that's fine. It's weird, this one. I got this one in, I got the sample card one in. Can't get this one in, and it? So I just have to, to turn it around and see what's on the other side of the board there. Even though I thought I'd cleaned out every single solder hole, I did miss a few and I had to go back over it. There you go, that's all it was. Okay, so we've got all uh, four slots soldered there, and then the sample card soldering is done as well. I'm just waiting, I need to get this connection, and this. these are two IDC connections. That's a 10 and that's a whatever. And then I've got one more over there, and I don't know what that's for, but I'm guessing they'll all need to be filled up. So I've got the, car, the, the two slots there done, these two slot, slots there done, all of these done, but that's great, got most of that done. As this was an MFX unit before, it didn't have all the um, all the channel cards um, in place. So I've added these two, and then you can see here, if you look on this side here, it says channels 13 and 14 and 15 and 16. Now, it's snipped there though. So I'm just gonna do this, give it a little bit extra, and, um, and reconnect them. And I need to take apart this, see if we can reuse it. I don't have a cramp, clamp, so I'm just applying pressure at the edge of the chisel, rolling it around to push. All right, success. A proper tool arrived, so I'm just gonna make sure that these are crimpy pimpy properly. All right, so now, probably time to uh, cut off these ends. So now, we need to attach these, like these. Look at that, now we've got all our channels. All right, so, when this machine arrived here, it only had channels one to two to uh, 11 and 12. And now I have added channels 13, 14 and 15 and 16. I've got a nice little IDC connector here, and then that feeds through to the new connectors that I put in here, and that feeds through to the new bus um, connectors here. What I've got to do is also get a power supply um, to come down for the sampler here. Um, so that's something else I've got to figure out. All right, but what we've got here, so we've got a series of other connectors down here that are kind of partly broken, not labeled, and um, these ones here, so from there we've got PIA, MIDI sim SIMPTI, sampling, and data control. And these have all been cut like they didn't exist on this machine. So I've got to figure out where they came from and where, and this is this other one. I think this one, if you look at this, it's broken here. Well, you can't see. It's broken here and it's got an end there and it looks like it goes right there. That's what it looks like. 
bonk, and that would give us the um, that would give us the uh, the midi simpty part of, of life. But then, uh, just to confuse things, this cable was in the box, and it's got another broken connector here, and another um, uh, you know. I don't know where this went to. It's clearly damaged. It needs a bit of a fix. The pins are all messed up and everything, right? But where did this one go? Because this one... This looks like the card that Peter told me was an MFX 3 Plus card, which goes in here. But that just perfectly fits there. So I'm hoping to find out if maybe because this was pulled from an MFX CMI hybrid shenanigans. I want to see if this could be compatible. Peter tells me it's not, but it's just that this one was in the MFX hybrid shenanigans machine. It would make things a whole lot cleaner and nicer if this worked. However, I've already got another card coming that is supposed to be the solution for that, but it doesn't explain why this Oh, maybe because it was MFX. That this that would plug in if it's for MFX, but then that was means it would for CMI. I'm totally confused. I have to wait back and hear back from Peter. There's still many things to figure out with this thing. <laughs> All right. Ouch. Okay. I'm gonna go see if I can. Uh unbend this and then figure out where the heck it goes. I somehow think that this one, because it's connected with this connector which looks like it comes from that that card over here, this one that came from the MFX CMI, I somehow think that this cable coming out here, which also has these things on it, is something to do with it. The, out of all the cables, although the cables are labeled nicely, this one is not. It's just labeled what looks like one and two. And that feels like if I take this cable, I've not even looked at them, maybe this one says one and two on it also. I haven't checked it out now, sadly it doesn't. Oh, it does! Look at that! One and two connect to one and two. So this one, I don't know where this goes. However, we are getting closer to the stage of actually powering it on. Got to figure out if this actually does belong to that. Or does, does this, no it's too short. Okay, so it has nothing to do with that. All right, that really looks like it's from there. This one, because this is all of the cut cables were facing down the way. So it really looks like all of these guys were uh, were part of the MFX only non non CMI club version of this machine. So they were just trimmed. It's uh, continuing that that story. The connectors facing all up the way and then they're all trimmed on one side. So I've I've pretty much feeling that this one here, which is the uh, MIDI Simpty, which is going over there. I'm gonna just um, take this off and, and glue this to this so it's, so, so, it's, so it's done. As you may have all noticed, a lot of this is just totally new to me and I'm really figuring it out as I'm going along. Some of the stuff that seems very obvious, where the ribbon cables are, where they go, that when I got the box and all of my excitement, I was like, yeah, I just kind of went forward and as I was videoing it, I'm realizing, yeah, I should have really slowed down and figured it out before I videoed it. But yeah, this is all part of the process. It's all part of the documentation of this and I'm gonna keep on doing it that way. All right, onward. It, it totally fits. There's a, little, there's a little crack in the corner there that just fits in perfectly. All I need to do is glue that there and put it back in and we are good to go. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that being itself there. Sampling and data control. So sampling, the small one, that goes right here, I'm guessing. So I need to get an IDC 10 pin, female and male. And then I've got some spare ribbon cables over here and I'll feed that to there. 
All right, so in the um, other fair light, there was this 10 pin connector, which will go here, quite a bit long, but this does match up to the amount of cables here. So I'm gonna take this out, I'm going to open it up, place this in there, zoink, use my, uh, my crimping tool, and then this will be ready for when we get the sampler going, which might be way, way, way later, but I've got to remain optimist, oops, optimistic. Now this is the important part, because I want to see where the red cable, red part is, so I know which one to connect it to. Careful just to take this apart properly. And then here, what I need to do is look for to see which is the red end. Amazing. We have this one. I'm now going to put this one back, pretending that I have the connection for that over there. It looks like all the red lines are at the top here, so we're, we're in good company with the red lines. And I'm just gonna... So I'm gonna cut this off now. I hate commitment like this, it really gets me. I think it's at a point where I can at least power it up to see the voltages coming in. What's that connected to? I would need to ask people. All right, got this mystery connector here. That's the next one I've got to make. But I need to wait for these other connectors to arrive. Okay, so far so good. Okay, but I'm gonna give this power and see what happens. We won't get all the power lights because some of it's supplied from down below, but at least we'll see the fans work. All right, here we go. These two fans do not work. Nothing. Niente. The little fans on the inside are working. Okay, we've got plus 20, minus 20, Huh, ADC minus 20, ADC plus 20, ADC plus 8. 10 volt for the keyboard, minus 20 plus, not, not plus 20, and must not 5 volts, so this seems unusually loud. These fans, nothing. They don't even have power. Ah, maybe we get that from the, from the, maybe we get that from the bottom one. So really what I need to do is, is, is connect those two with that extension doofer. Okay, great. Loud, but great. All right, that's all for this episode. Um, that was a lot of manual work. Next episode will be filled with cards and problems. All right, see you next time. Ow, mother, man.